hello and welcome back to the channel once again the name is Guru Boy. here in today's tutorial we do have um infinix device right over here but if you do have techno iter or you do have infinix device as well then you can follow along with this tutorial as i'm about to show you how you can get rid of mdm lock or if you or if your device is being stuck on this screen and uh it says your device your device is locked you need to follow along with this tutorial that i'm about to show you guys on how you can get rid of this kind of lock on your device so first um when you try to connect to a wi-fi network that you want to use it to um set up your device you are going to be prompt that you need to unlock your device or request for unlock and still you have your device being unlocked since mdm lock is on your device so in this tutorial it's going to be a very simple tutorial with smart unlock website i'm going to place order on smart unlock to unlock this device so follow along with this tutorial so first thing first if you don't have um, an account with smart unlock make sure to visit smartunlock.org with the link will be in this video description on their website they do have a lot of gsm service that you can go along if you you are a um, repair shop owner you can go along with smart unlock home um, service so if you haven't registered make sure to create an account and if you don't have um credit on your smart unlock make sure to add credit and proceed to follow along with this tutorial so first we move to the IMEI service where we are going to place order for our device. So first we can search for um, MDM or type Techno or Infinix MDM and uh, get on search. This will bring a lot of MDM service. So um, the one that we are going to choose first. Um, let's scroll down let's make sure we choose the right MDM lock so let me show you choose the last MDM lock where the price is 9.6 years and the order is going to take one to four days for your device to be unlocked so click on it and um, let's follow the instructions on the registration page so first um before we can uh, unlock our device we need um, or we need to take this into consideration first we need to make sure we have a screenshot of our device or the lock screen pick that we are going to submit to this website right over here so just copy the website and um, you just have to copy the website and then paste it in a new tab and just paste it and go and wait for it to load so here um we need to upload a screenshot or a picture of our lock device to this website so first um you can see it says we need to um submit uh, a picture of our lock screen device to this website which we are going to do so um you are going to need the IMEI of the device also as being said by the other instructions so um let's upload a picture of our lock device so just click on upload and navigate to where you have your screenshot or picture of the lock device so um let me go in and select the lock or uh, the lock picture that i do have so here i have the lock device so the picture should be something like this a clean picture and then um on the on where we are going to upload the um, picture you need to choose a specific time in which our, div um, our picture that has been uploaded to the website should get deleted so uh, most likely you choose one month for your picture to get deleted so then after that click on upload image so click on upload and wait for the image to be uploaded successfully so if your image gets load, um, uploaded successfully you should get a, a link which we are going to copy 
copy the image link and head back to smart unlock let's head back to smart unlock and in the box where it says enter lock screen picture link so here we are going to paste in the link that we did generated with the uh, lock picture so let's paste in the link here and now all we have to do or the next step is to input the device IMEI so you need to make sure you input the correct IMEI of your device so this is very important as if you do submit the wrong IMEI um, your device might not get unlocked and you may not even get refund for your device so make sure you input the correct IMEI for your device so and the order after submitting the order should take a minimum of one to four days so keep this in mind so um and you can see the price is 9.6 so let's proceed to um submit our order so click on submit i'm um, sorry i think i have some bad internet let me um place the order again um, let's go back and um place the order again so um, let's place in order again and um uh we have this error right over here which says we don't have enough fun meaning our order has been done successfully and we need to check um our order history so um let's move into our order history as you can see our credit has been detect deducted from our account so we can move into the order history to check if our, our order has been placed so we can see we have our order being placed and says unattended so we can refresh our account and now we can um, see that we have our order being pending so we need to wait for the time given as one to four days for our order to be done successfully so when our order has been done successfully we can proceed to activate our device hello and welcome back again to the unlock tutorial so here we can see our order has been done or been made successfully so we can now um switch from smart unlock since smart unlock um work is being done has given us successful message meaning we cannot proceed to activate our device so we need to switch from smart unlock back to our device okay so here on our device now we can uh make sure that our device is being connected to our um, internet so let's make sure that we connect our device after we have successful message let's connect our device to the internet so here i'm connecting to a nearby wi-fi network so we have it been connected successfully so let's go back and now request to unlock our device and now wait and you can see it says unlocked successfully so we can reboot or just wait for some few minutes and you have your device being activated so now let's reboot our device since it says we should reboot our device let's reboot our device once again and let's see if we um the device been get stuck again on the um mdn lock screen let's see let's power on the device again and see if we do have the mdn lock or we've successfully removed it from our device so guys if you are enjoying this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and um, this video was being sponsored by smart unlock smart unlock do offer many um gsm service like um sim unlock or carrier unlock and um icloud remover mdm unlock on um apple devices and as well as um iCloud unlocking so we can see we have our device being um, successfully been done and now we can um, use our phone as new so that's it for today's tutorial if you really enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and also give a like if you enjoyed this video leave a comment if you have any challenges with smart unlock and also make sure to use smart unlock support 
um channels to reach out to smart unlock developers and uh, that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching make sure to subscribe peace out